data needs to inform every decision you're making in industrial marketing. And if you're not tracking it, then you're falling behind the competition. Let me show you how to do it. Step number one, you gotta track your data. What do I mean by that? I don't just mean Google Analytics. You need to have data sources on every single thing that you do. From your website, your SEO, any email marketing that you're doing, any sales calls that you're making, any stuff that you're sending out through postal, trade shows, every single thing you do in industrial marketing, you have to be able to say, how am I going to track this? And the team says, this is how we're gonna track it. If you're gonna do something and there's no possible way that you can track it, you should not do it. And here's why. If you don't have the data tracking, you can't possibly make a decision on if it's working or not. This is the issue with traditional industrial marketing. They do trade shows and it's like, how was that trade show? It went good, how many leads did we get? We got 100, cool. Marketing says, let's book it next year. This time we're gonna increase our budget to $60,000, $80,000, 2.2 million, whatever it is. But if you're not tracking the data, how could you possibly know it? So. Every single area, you have to be able to track it. Now with Google Analytics, you can track most things on the website. With all of your ads, you need to be able to track conversions to it. I don't mean conversions like they just fill out a form, a newsletter, et cetera. A lot of things have changed with GA4, and they're going more event-based, and things can get a little bit jacked up, whether you're working with an agency or not. If you're working with an agency, and you can't say there was 17 conversions last month, if that's not on your monthly report, then you need to move on to a different agency like Manufacturing Tribe. But if you're doing it on your own, and you have a department that says, we're gonna track all of our PPC, I want to know about the conversions. That's what matters most. And if I'm not tracking on those conversions that then lead into opportunities or deals, then you can't make decisions on, is that campaign working? So it starts with Google. The Google Tag Manager is a great way to tie everything together, but where's all that information gonna go? You need to have a centralized system like HubSpot or some other type of CRM to be able to say, here's my reporting for the last week, the last month. Here's how everything flowed in. It starts with an initial conversation. Does not matter if it's a call, a website form, a personal visit, whatever it is. It starts there and you need to track every single step throughout the sales process so that once the sales process is done, and for some of you industrial manufacturing companies, that can mean six, 12, two years, right? Six months, 12 months, or, or 24 months. And that's where if you can track it all back, you maybe not be able to make a decision in the moment, in the month, and is this working? But you can have a good sense and idea of, I got 17 conversions, which resulted in 12 deals for me to quote, and the quality of these are salespeople ranking A, B, C, D. From there, I have a high probability of, is this going to be a good opportunity? Even if that's all that you have initially in the first month, that is enough information to move on to steps two and three. But if you're not tracking it from the first place, and this is where most industrial companies fail, they just aren't tracking it, then you can't possibly move on to step two and three. If, you're, if you feel like your data is not tracking very well, the action item from watching this video is gonna be, I need to go through every single area and see how much we're tracking it. Trade shows, a lot of industrial manufacturing companies spend a lot of money on trade shows. Could be between 15,000 to 3 million. Are you tracking all the different areas? Are you tracking how many conversations were had, barcodes were scanned, right? You got information, business cards were had. That's step one. Okay, cool, we had a lot of conversations, how many, this many. How many of those are gonna turn into deals at three weeks, six weeks, 12 weeks, six months, tracking all of that through a, a system like HubSpot to be able to look at the ROI on that before you go into the next year and do that same trade show, or even possibly before you say, I'm gonna to want to do more trade shows because you don't know if it's working. You have to track that data. Step number two, you have to analyze the data. And how are you gonna do this? You're gonna do this with a fine tooth comb. You've got everything set up in the tracking standpoint, you're gonna analyze it. You need to be looking at weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly. You also wanna track the information, all the data from here's where we're at this month, this quarter, in this year versus last year, where were we, where were we at? There could be some seasonality to your service or your product, to where it goes up and down depending on the quarter. You need to be able to track everything back to the previous year to see if the steps that you've taken are being effective. Now you can't get lost in it and just look at the vanity metrics. When I say data, I do not mean vanity. I don't mean sessions and people that hit your website and all that stuff. I mean conversions and not just conversions to fill out a form. I mean that's step one, conversion to a potential conversation, a lead, and then your salespeople talk to them and convert them into an SQL, a sales qualified lead, which then leads into an opportunity typically. Then from there, the opportunity needs to be able to flow all the way through your process and you can track all that information. So when you're analyzing the data, don't just look at the vanity metrics. 
You want to look at the stuff that's going to actually bring in opportunities and money into your pop pipeline for you guys to then quote and potentially close and then result in a close one situation with a customer. Now you can attribute dollar amount back up the funnel to where did that opportunity come from. So if you're looking at vanity metrics, I would say stop. We report them here at Manufacturing Tribe to a certain extent to be able to show, hey, you're getting more traffic, you're getting more engagement, more time on site, but what really matters is are you getting more quality conversations and good deals? Because any owner, any upper management at any industrial company or company in general is gonna wanna know, I'm spending X amount of dollars per month, is it resulting in actual money? Even if you have that long sales cycle, you can say to a certain extent, yes, this is working. We're having better conversations. We've ranked them. So if you're not tracking it, don't just rely on the sales manager's word. Hey, is this working, this new marketing that we're doing? Yeah, it is. We've got better conversations. Okay, I want to know how many conversations, what's the quality? Have every salesperson track the quality of those conversations, A, B, C, D, or maybe A through J. It doesn't matter how you do the nomenclature. It just matters of, I'm going to rank these one, two, three, A, B, C. A is a very good conversation. They're a fit for us from a qualification standpoint. They have the budget, they have the need, they have the timing, they have the drive, whatever it is. Set up the qualification standards for each of those different areas so then you can look at a report and say, hey, we had 15 conversions, 10 of them turned into an opportunity or a deal. From there, if I look at these deals, they're still in the initial quoting stage or we just quoted all 10 of them. How were those conversations? Well, five of them are A and Five of them are Ds, or here's the here's the breakup. Then I want to look at the dollar amount attached to it. So I can say, hey, here's $50,000, $5 million in A quality. So then you know that the conversations were good, they meet all of your qualification standards, so there's a higher likelihood that you could win that. So you want to focus on bringing in, ideally, A quality, highest quality leads and opportunities that meet your criteria to the full extent, that have the time, the budget, the resources, and the mentality to close quickly in your own pipeline. Quickly could mean six months, it could mean two years, and it could mean two weeks. But you wanna focus on that. So if that's your goal, and you wanna work backwards and reverse engineer how to get there, if you're not tracking it, you can't possibly hit that goal. So when you're analyzing the data, don't focus on vanity, focus on the tangible, actionable things like opportunities you have a lot better success at getting your marketing to work for you versus against you. All right, step number three, let's talk about pivots. You have to have pivots in your marketing strategy, your sales strategy, and in your life in general. You set a marketing strategy or your agency did with you. You start working towards that. You're tracking all the data. You're analyzing the data on a weekly, monthly, quarterly basis. You're looking at it this month versus last month, when you started with them, this year versus last year at this point in time. You're doing all those things. Now you need to look at pivots. When things aren't working the exact way that you want it to or the exact way that your agency wants it to, you need to be able to pivot. This is what's going to separate you from everybody else. Typically in industrial manufacturing, everybody moves very slowly. Like, yeah, it's not working the best now, but let's give it some more time. In some cases, that is the case, right? If you're talking about long-term SEO plays on a competitive keyword, competitive could be just competing between 10 people in the industry, that will be a longer-term play. So you can't say, that's not working, abandon it. You need to be patient with that. But if you look at, hey, we're making calls, we're sending emails, we've been doing it for three, four, five, six months. We've sent 3,000 emails, the open rate hasn't gotten any better, the click rate hasn't gotten any better, we haven't gotten any more opportunities or leads from it. The ads, we've been doing the same ads for three months, four months, We need you need to, at that point in time, make a pivot and say, this strategy isn't working, let's make some adjustments. The pivot could just be, Let's A-B test the creative. Let's A-B test the words on a, on, a, on a Google ad or a PPC campaign. Let's A-B test the subject line of emails. Let's look at different industries. Are we seeing any trends? So you're going through step two and analyzing it and then determining what do we need to pivot and how quickly do we need to pivot. This is what will separate you. So many industrial companies are slow. They talk to us and they're like, yeah, we've been doing the same thing for the last 12 months. Well, what were you doing? We were doing X, Y, and Z. Well, you made micro adjustments and pivots throughout that. Nope, it was the same as day one as it was at day 365. Okay, well, here's what you should have done. Based on your data and your graph, I can see this, this, and that happened. You should have pivoted at that point and made a micro adjustment to the strategy and to the campaign to then see if that's working any better. It could come down to after you've been doing it for three, six, nine months, you're making micro pivots every single month. So it's like, okay, this is working better, but not to where we want. So let's look at the other variables, make pivots there to see, do we increase it? Yep, 
that's working or nope we took a step back so go back to back and forth through it it's a game you you what you think will work often is not exactly what will work. You can, it's just like creative. Creative is subjective. So we can all sit in a room and say, we all like this a certain way, but what does the market like? What do they engage most with? Everybody wants to have their ego involved and say, nope, this is exactly what's gonna happen. That's fine, we can test that out. And what I will always say, and I've been doing this for a long time, will say, the data will tell us if this is gonna work. And if the data shows that this is not working, you have to make a pivot. In every single marketing strategy we have, in every new client that we bring on, we do the strategy, we do it in 90 day segments instead of 12 months, and then we put in our proven process that there are adjustments and pivots are made based on a certain point depending on what the actual vertical is. So for Google ad campaigns, we pivot this frequently. For email marketing, we do this. For videos, we do that. So we have it all laid out and this is what's working, but you have to be nimble and willing to pivot and adjust quickly if you wanna stay relevant and keep filling that pipeline. I hope you got value out of this content, guys. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. Follow me on LinkedIn. We've got over 1,200 videos on this YouTube channel posting new content every single day. If you guys want to listen to this in podcast format, head over to every major podcast platform. Type in Industrial Sales and Marketing with me, and I will see you on the next one.